Yeah, I think that's a cool hand on the play. So let's yeah on the draw. So let's keep it and see what we are playing against. Might be elves or maybe survival welder. Yeah, this should be elves. So let's see what we can do here. Wall of roots. So I'm confused by that now. So I think the right play might be to play a powder cake here to have something going against the explosive elf's turn but i never saw these two in the elf deck combined Yeah, I'm going to yield here. I don't think we need to pop this for a zero drop. I saw the wolf roots or the wolf blossom sometimes in the sideboard, but maybe it's something like a meta call to play this in the main deck now. Because it's a bit better against slide. So let's put a counter on this. And then I think it might be the right play to. Play factory to have a blocker and then play pillage on the one and only mountain. And I'm not ready to pop this cake here for what one Fintone elf. So we can you through the turn. He might go to find the Nantuku Vigilante.
So if he goes for the vigilante here to destroy the powder keg, that would be okay. I would crack it in response and then follow up with the disc next turn, which should be too strong against his board. Okay, Ranger. Do I pop the keg? No, I don't think so. I'm not super scared of of him having one mana more. It was pretty strong to destroy his mountain last turn, because uh, so he does not have haste on any of his creatures. Okay, five mana. Maybe Hardcast Genesis? Or Musty Core? Echo Line, okay. So I think I might need to go for the powder kick. Cause then he has like two to three mana less, which means that he can't play the vigilante and flip it. So, no count on this, but I would like to pop it now, see what he does. Okay. And now we play the disc, which will give us a huge boost. So, what's the best thing he can do? I think it's like tutoring up a Genesis to build up again. Or maybe Yeah, I think we are in a pretty good position here. We can win with the manlands over the next few turns. So we just go to take here. Okay, survival, discarding the squee, finding a symbiote bounces. So I might trade the disc for these two. Should I? Oh, that's a nice draw. Yeah, let's let's go th for this. It's okay if he bounces the uh, Acolyte, because it's a very nice trade. And then we are going to snipe away the Squee. So let's go for for the furnace here. Play the wasteland. Then we are going to exile his bottom card. Plus a squee. Okay, and then we are going to attack for two here. I don't think I need to leave the lightning bolt open. Cause he won't have haste. He does not have the squee. So best card would be survival of the fittest, but I'm not impressed by that, because the squeeze is gone. Now a slice and dice would be nice. So let's activate the 
this we'll set so question is do I want to trade the acolyte for the factory and I think I would or do I bolt this I think I bolt this So, I feel pretty confident right now for this matchup, or for this game. Maybe the attack with the factory was too greedy. Okay. That's a good card. What a kick. So we're going to play the powder kick here. And then let's see like I'm so unsure how it works with the, if I block it and um, then it takes three damage and then I play the Uther's Rage because it says ah, damage to this player. But I think regenerate is removing the damage. Look this up. Yeah, the damage is removed, it's not replaced or something. So I could do you just have one regeneration shield, so I would like to the priest here and then I would like to activate the factory I think I'm going to block the ranger. Or maybe the Ecolite. If I block the Ecolite, he can ping. So I'm going to block the ranger. Ah, he still has three mana left. Did I was too late? Okay, that's fine. I think I was too late. I should have activated in the... Uh, I should have bolted in the... Begin combat. So now we are going to pump. And if he... Okay, yeah, this, this was a huge mistake on my side. But I hope we are not losing the game for that. Cradle, okay. So he did not ping the third time. Let's. I think I am going to pop this right away because I don't want him to bounce too many forests with that. Okay, play the mountain. Going to wasteland here. Yeah, that's that's a problem. The musty core was a huge draw.
So we need something like a pillage immediately. But I think I might try to cast the other rage on this. What did he discard? A forest, yes. So if he attacks with both, I don't know if he attacks. So now I would like to activate this. Okay, this could be good play because I activate this. So if I make a double block, he kills both. But he's giving him a shield. So I just want to Block like this. Yeah, this was bad, because Hmm, what we do here? Yeah, we need to let this die. Or, wait, wait. I hope I get priority again in the normal phase, which I should, because this was first strike phase. And now I try to play Uther's Rage on that. Leaving him with the ability to ping this or to regenerate. And if he regenerates, it's removed from combat entirely. And then I hope to draw something like a pillage. So I think it's still alive. Yeah, because it's not removing, uh, it's not preventing damage, the regeneration, it's removing the damage. So if he pings here, which he shouldn't, I think. He pings, okay. So slice and dice would be nice, or pillage, something like this. Lava dart, that's not enough. But are we going to play the dart here? Try to attack. So please give us a pillage next turn. I'm not sure if I made a huge misplay. There was no way for us to Kill the Musty Core last turn. Now the problem is he has two mana to ping this. So we need the pillage. Dust Bowl is not enough. So we are going to hide this. Yeah, this was pretty uh, wild game. I think Musty Core was one of the only cards we could lost against. But I'm pretty confident after sideboarding. I don't know how much scripts we need. Um because we have the furnace.
I don't think we need the crypt. Maybe the bridges? Which is not impressive, because he can attack another bridge. Cut one hammer. And it's bad with the disc, so I'm not a fan of this. Just uh, let's bring another graveyard removal in, and then this should be fine. But I'm still thinking if I have misplayed something in this spot. But I don't think so. Maybe if I rewatch the video. That's super slow. We can't keep that, so let's take a mulligan. That's nice. So question is if we want to ship the pillage. I think so. But seems greedy, so let's ship the pyroclasm. Then we have two answers for the first elf armies. Plus the answer for Masticor. We just need a something for the graveyard to have play against survival of Titania. So there might be an argument to play the slice and dice now. Because if he has uh, Call of the Claw, but I I want more from that than a 3 for 1. I hope he has a very explosive turn and then That might be a bit greedy, but let's see. It's it's okay to lose against the caller in hand. If he plays survival now, we have to think if we want to wipe the board in response. That would be too dangerous for him to tutor it up. But I am willing to take the risk if he has a survival. Uh, if he has a caller in hand. Yes. Okay. So in the end step, we are going to cycle this. He does not have three mana left for a beer army. So I'm pretty confident. Yes. So I might destroy a forest here, because that means he can pay his echo cost. Plus, um, he can't play the Mesticor next turn. And then his follow-up could be uh, Survival of the Fittest or something like this. 
but I slowed him down here. I have another slice and dice, which means if I if he has a musty core. So here's the question now. I think we want to dust bowl. Yeah, I tapped wrong, because uh, I sacked the untapped one, but it's not a huge difference. Biggest problem might be that I don't can bluff a bolt or lava dart. So let's go for the wasteland here, ship the turn. And let's see what he does. We have a good army of blockers now. So it could be a game about timing out. Survival. Yeah, let's resolve this and hope for another turn. So he attacks with the elf, which uh, means for me that he might have a naturalize. And in this case, I want to block with one of these. So no reaction from his side, don't know what to think about this. Maybe it was a error attacking there.
So the internet is down on my side. Hope to make it back online in the four minutes I have. So let's try it with my mobile connection. But I think we might have lost cause due to four minutes of inactivity. Or is it still going? It's loading something up here. I don't know if it's still the game. Looking like this. Okay. Let's go to blockers. Yeah, we lost a huge time chunk. So let's play a mountain and I think we are going to take now. At least with one of these to get some damage in. Some minutes ago I was pretty confident because we have so much time left, but I lost like three and a half minutes now. And yeah, we need to hurry up. Okay. What is he searching for? Anger. Yeah, let's let's have him turn. Even if you get something online like Phantom Nishoba or something, there might be a possibility that we can get him small on us with the slice and dice. Not impressive, to be honest. So here it might be an argument to play slice and dice. I think I will. Because even if he has the bear army following up, it won't be okay. Uh, it will be okay because we have another slice and dice plus blockers. Because the man, red men lands have first strike and the factory 
can be 3-3, three, three, so these are good blockers against a bear army. So we are going to yield until the end of turn. Even if we win the game now, it's still dangerous that he will just overrun us next turn. So, what's the play? I think... I would like to bolt the priest. And do follow up with the disc. Because then he needs to have naturalize or yeah I think the other way won't work that he have something like yeah naturalize ah tie you one nice okay that's okay cool thing is he spent a whole turn now and he can't attack. So we have a mountain here, and now we take with one of these. So cool thing is the combination of these two, because you can play incinerate on a musty core, and then play slice and dice, and it can't be regenerated. Natural order, okay, this is scary with haste, has to be the verdant force. Yeah, verdant force, so our next turn, we have eight mana, next turn will be slice and dice plus incinerate. And I think we are pretty far behind now. Pyroclasm, okay. So this is four. We have exactly seven damage. But he has the survival plus haste plus a squeeing graveyard plus anger, so it's Pretty tough. Yeah, well played, because he make, is making a value plan here, and even if I prioritize him now, it's just a one, two for one from his side. So pillage would be nice to get the mountain again. Nothing for us. Yeah, pillage is very good. So let's play village on this and I don't think we want to cast Pyroclasm now to get the Echo Light. We want him to play uh, play Echo and then we want to block. We have two very mainlands to block. Another natural order Plus another target for it would be strong. Okay. So again, survival, echo light, game action.
Mystic Hogan. Wasteland. Yeah, we are going to waste. And then... I don't know if I want to just get the symbiote, but it could make an explosive turn, so... Otherwise, if I find another... I ship the turn, because I have so many man lands. We can block some turns, but this might... He lost the game. It's funny that the Musty Core is the best card in the deck. Okay, that's that's an odd attack, but I can say like uh, what we do here, we activate that, it's a dust bowl, and I would like to block the symbiote, because that's kind of free. Another natural order, okay, what may he find here? Karma? Maybe? Hall of the Claw, okay, that's not a huge problem. So any burn spell now would win us the game. Come on, Shard Phoenix. It's a burn spell. And we do have a Nasmana. So let's go like Wasteland, Dust Bowl. Three. Shot Phoenix. Let's sacrifice this. Let's Pyroclism here. Yeah, and uh, that's a huge game changer. Because we even have a nice mana now to rebuild. Uh, uh, one second. We need to remove the yield and set a stop in my turn to buy back the Phoenix. And I don't know what he can have. Echo light. This will be gone soon. So let's buy back our Phoenix. Go to draw another pillage. That's nice because the Musty Core would be scary again. Yeah. So he's giving a try for the last game. I might bring in more from this. This seems very slow. Okay. Good game. 